back with another uh, game trailer reaction video. This time, the reveal of Dong Zhuo from Total War Three Kingdoms. I'm very excited. Always had a kind of suspicion that he'd end up being a playable faction, a playable warlord. And I'll talk a tiny bit about what we know, which isn't much, after the trailer. So let's get in. This is really beautiful. <laughs> Big boy. Only power yields victory. Only strength can rule. Wouldn't want to get hit with that. Only fools think otherwise. They oppose me. Okay. Oh, he doesn't care. So that is Lubu. Uh, I'm probably from, I might be pronouncing it wrong. They are the dogs barking at the tiger. Match my ambition. They cannot overcome my strength. But they will bow before my rule. <laughs> okay. So that was the reveal chore for Dong Zhuo. So what do we actually know about him? Well, how he will play? Currently, not uh, not very much. What we do know is he is going to be a free content. So he's not DLC. There's no payment necessary. What you do need to do to get to play as Dong Zhou is defeat him. Which I really like. It harkens back to... I want to say Medieval Total War 2, where, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been so long since I played that game, in order to unlock a faction, you had to defeat it. Um, I might be remembering wrong, but that's what I remember off the top of my head. And there's one other thing that I noticed, kind of a little, very little detail that really kind of tickled me. This whole sequence of Lubu marching on his own down the corridor, well, down the, uh, the rows of courtiers and soldiers up the stairs to join Dong Zhou, made me think of um, the movie Hero, which it's, um, you know, it's a kind of overdramatic <laughs> martial arts movie set in ancient China where the protagonist had this progression of 10,000 paces, 1,000 paces, 100 paces, 10 paces, that he had to progress in this very ritual progression until he was 10 paces away from the emperor, and I can't say any more without spoiling the movie, which, if you haven't seen it, you really should. It's a pretty good movie, I think. Um, but yeah, I just noticed this little sequence, and it tickled my fan. It tickled me. But I'm really excited about this. Um, the closer we get to release, we're about three weeks away. The more excited I get, 
and I'm most excited to play as Cao Cao and be the quote-unquote bad guy of the time period. But those are just my thoughts, um, my excitement, my hype. There is a lot of hype. I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about Dong Zhou from what we're seeing so far? What's your opinion of him? Uh, are you going to play him after you unlock him? Who's your favorite warlord and why? What are you excited about for this game? What concerns do you have? Because concerns are perfectly valid. Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm Z, this is Vukari Gaming, and the world goes on.